Welcome to another video from me. How is everybody? I hope you're all doing really well. Now this one's quite interesting because I'm actually in the middle of editing this video. Um, this is going to go uh, just at the start and I just wanted to do a little bit of an introduction to it because it's not a particularly long um, video but it's uh, something slightly different than what you've seen from me kind of so far so actually I'm doing a bit of a I'm going to be doing a little bit of a scramble in this um, in this video um, and it was a particularly interesting uh, day um, so I was climbing a uh, mountain that I've done many times before and I've done it in all sorts of weather and had all sorts of spectacular conditions and this particular day I hadn't set out to do really do any photography I thought I'd vlog it um, just so that you could uh, just to just to show you something basically um, but it ended up being an absolutely stonking day unbelievable um, now, uh, after this introduction, I'm just going to show you a few images that I've caught from this particular uh, mountain before, some of which I, I still like, some not so much, um, but, uh, you know, I keep on going back because one, it's a great day out, uh, and two, there's always the possibility of um, something uh, interesting uh, from this particular mountain. Anyway, like I say, um, some images that I've shot in previous years, uh, and uh, and then we'll get right down to it. Hope you enjoy. to my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different to what you've seen me doing so far. Um, gonna be climbing Trevan in Snowdonia and um, conditions are less than perfect. Uh, forecasted 70 mile an hour winds at the top so photography is gonna be a challenge. Um, <coughs> But we'll see now, I've done this mountain well over 20 times over the years, so kind of know what I'm doing. Um, but uh, should be good fun anyway. Um, see over there, it's blue sky, but um, we're heading up there. And there's a bit of cloud coming over. It's coming over from Snowdon, coming off the Irish Sea, hitting Snowdon. So Snowdon is clagged in at the minute. Then coming over the glitters and over Trevan. So hopefully that cloud sticks around because I'm kind of looking for something a bit moody. I don't want a blue sky image. But uh, yeah, so I'm climbing with my mate Simon here. Um, my uh, climbing partner from years ago years gone by or hiking partner i should say so um yeah looking forward to this it's going to be good fun just to get out on the hill 
I need to get a bit fitter though, bloody hell. I'm about um, a quarter of the way up and Simon has raced ahead a little bit. Actually, he's just sitting up ahead waiting for me. So yeah, about a quarter of the way up and uh, Trivan is something like 930 meters or something. I can't quite remember at this moment in time. Um, and in terms of height, um, it's probably the premier um, continuous grade one scramble uh, in the UK. It's my favorite mountain um, of all the mountains across the world. Um, this one is just tremendous fun. Um, should not be taken lightly though. Um, but you do see people taking kids up here and all sorts of things. Um, but you do have to be super, super careful. Um, and should not be attempted in, if you in any way suffer from vertigo or if you've got zero experience of the mountains and conditions in the mountains, how they can change, etc. So let's talk a little bit about um, a few mountain safety tips. So, one, always take a map and compass with you. Um, two, know how to use a map and compass. Uh, it's fairly simple, um, but there's all sorts of different things. Um, you can read a hell of a lot from a map um, about the terrain and features and all sorts of things and uh, being able to pinpoint yourself on a map using bearings and back bearings and all sorts of things is kind of essential if you're going to be heading into the mountains um, especially if you're by your, on your own. Um, number three, uh, it's always worth leaving a route card in the windscreen of your car giving details of um, your intended route, your anticipated return time, um, the amount of people in your party uh, and an emergency contact number. Um, it's always good. Number four, um, never, if you're not sure about something, okay, don't be an idiot <laughs> and, uh, and, and still plow on ahead. The mountains will be there for another day. Um, uh, there's no shame in turning back, I guess. Um, number five, if you do have to call Mountain Rescue, um, uh, when you call, uh, well, you can never know, always rely on it because of um, uh, the mobile signal in the mountains in the UK is not, uh, is not particularly great. But um, if you do happen to have a signal, uh, then you dial 999. Um, and uh, you don't ask for mountain rescue, not straight away. You ask for police. You ask for the police, you get through, get put through to the police, and then you ask for mountain rescue. So you don't call for an ambulance, you don't call for fire, you don't call for mountain rescue. First of all, you call for the, you ask for police, and then ask for mountain uh, rescue. So um, another tip: always carry a bothy bag, uh, at least a two-person bothy bag, um, because conditions can catch you out or um, you could easily sprain an ankle or break something um, and uh, even on a hot summer's day uh, as soon as you stop moving if there's any wind um, you can catch a chill very very quickly and a bothy bag will protect you and uh, in worse conditions it will save your life um, so yeah uh, there's a few little few little uh, mountainy tips I'll probably um, give you a few more in other vlogs but um, for now I am uh, like I said I'm about a quarter of the way up uh, Trivan we've got to go up there um, and it's about to turn into a scramble Yay! let's do it Si let's do it It's all a bit fun today. Gusts of wind blowing us around. It's also pretty moody as well. You see behind me we've got clear blue sky, but um, the Snowdon range is just collecting, um, collecting the cloud and gradually sending it over this way. Uh, it's kind of coming over the glitters. It's all very good. Um, I've uh, 
I've not got the tripod with me today because of what we're doing, a bit of scrambling. I wanted to keep the weight down. I've also not got my 70 to 200 and I'm rather regretting it. Um, so uh, I'm just going to have to make do. Um, <clears throat> Let's come down here and not kill myself. Uh, ooh, uh, right, uh, I'll take you over here. So, uh, so there we go. Kumudwal down here, Egan in the distance, and then there's all light and clouds coming over and swirls and all sorts of wonderful, wonderful things. Next, we're going up there. So it's a bit of a scramble. It's probably the second trickiest part of the of the ascent, to be honest. It's actually been pretty good so far, um, and the wind hasn't. We've had a few gusts, but uh, it hasn't really troubled us. But um, now we're getting some altitude. Okay, it's really starting to pick up. Um, all very exciting. However, I am confident there will be a boom at some point because these conditions are just so dynamic at the minute. Um, it was actually, I think it was raining over there. There was no rain uh, forecast. Um, all the rain's to the north of us, but um, you know, the mountains. Uh, so uh, I'd like to not be climbing in the rain if it does come over. Um, but uh, I've done it in the rain before. It's uh, um, no great uh, drama if you know what you're doing. Um, but it would um, at least add to the atmosphere and perhaps get some uh, help with uh, a compelling image. So, anyway, let's crack on. On the summit! Holy shit, look at that! Ah, I don't know, it's gusting to about 70 miles an hour according to the forecast. It feels like it. There's a crazy Polish guy who's up here in just shoes! <laughs> and normal and like jeans and stuff. But yeah, this is pretty intense. I don't know if you can hear me. Uh, the South, Re South Summit of Trifan. Oh. <laughs> Let's start being a twat. This is extreme photography. Um, actually, I don't think I've been up here when it's been this windy before. And it's pretty epic. Image stabilization is a must. There's a couple of people over on the South Summit. I'm going to try and get a composition I've wanted for quite a while and it's kind of perfect, it's really atmospheric and then I'm going to get the hell out of here! Well, it was pretty epic at the top. Um, might have got, might have got a beam image. Not too sure because the wind was absolutely ferocious. Um, but uh, yeah, oh, nose is running. Um, just on our way down now off the back down the south ridge, and I thought I'd just show you this. 
that's quite nice isn't it it's been doing that for about the last hour hour and a half and we keep on stopping to take photos but we're getting absolutely mullered by the wind um, and uh, and now it's finally just dropping off which is rather pleasant anyway so um, uh, I'm gonna head down to Bulchi Trifan or whatever it is um, and then uh, head off down the, um, the eastern descent line to um, uh, Gwen Goff Uchaf. Um, it's the easier to say. Ah, oh, the light! The light! Beautiful! <sighs> I might just enjoy it though, I've taken so many photos. Um, and they're probably all shaky and rubbish. Um, but what a great day! What a great day to be out! Absolutely cracking! Beautiful.